Um, have you always lived in Cobb County? Uh, n so I lived in Cobb County um, until first grade. Like I was born in Cobb County and then I lived until first grade and then I moved to New Jersey for four years and then I came back to Cobb County and then oh. I've been living in Cobb County since now. So I did not know that. Yeah. Learning new things. Did I not tell you? Oh I don't gosh. feel like you did. Well, but that's, but so that's like, like most of your yeah, life. Exactly. Yeah. So like in middle school I was here, so like yeah. you know, like middle school. I mean school, I didn't meet you till middle school. Right. Anyway, so, so yeah, I guess oh, I thought I told you, huh? You Maybe you did. Good. It's just like it's been a while. It's so been a while, you know. Yeah. Things slip your mind. Right. Um so what year did you move here and do you know around what um, date you moved here? I think it was two thousand eight is when I moved back here. Okay. And then I've been living here. So like ten years I've been living like constantly in Cobb. Gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> ten years. Ten years. That's pretty much like how long I've been living here actually. Oh, really? Wait, what grade do you know what grade you were when you moved back? Um yeah, I like I moved like there was three weeks left in fourth grade. I remember, like, oh, okay. I went to school and I had, like, three weeks of fourth grade left. So, like, fourth grade, like, end of fourth grade. Gotcha. When I came back. How did your family end up in Cobb County? Um, I think we were looking in this area because we lived here before. So, we just liked this area. We were really, like, familiar with the people and, like, the, like the surrounding area. Mm -hmm. um, and we have, like, close family members and friends here. So it was just, like, a good place to, I guess, also go to school and things like that. So my parents took that into consideration. And then we were just looking at, like, houses and apartments and things like that in this area. Because it was, like, I guess the familiarity is what made us, like, live in Cobb County. Gotcha. Yeah. Do you know why you moved in the first place? Um. Yeah, so my... I think it was mainly because of my brother. Like, he didn't like the weather and things there. Like, he's like he was an asthma patient and um, oh, okay. he just didn't like the... Um, the atmosphere and things like that in New Jersey because it's very crowded and he got really sick in New Jersey and that didn't happen when he was living here okay so I think like that just made us want to come back and mm -hmm. we were just this area we felt like was just more homey than like it was in New Jersey so that's why we decided that it was just better to come back here and like stay here gotcha yeah was there a reason you guys moved away from Cobb in the first place so we did, I think it's because we have, like, my mo my mom's sister lives in New Jersey, so okay. we wanted to, like, live close to her, um, so that's, like, one of the reasons why we decided, and we just wanted to change. Gotcha. Um, but, like, we just didn't like it that much there, so that's why we decided to come back in four years, because I, I guess we just didn't like the... Yeah. <laughs> Jersey, better than jersey yeah. kind of thing so right. was there not like i mean you did list like all those things about Cobb. so i guess were those the major reasons why you moved to Cobb, or were, was there something like more pressing um and i think like also i'm not sure if it was completely because of this but like my dad also found a job here that like an engineering job that he liked so um that's why like that's also one of the reasons so gotcha um, we just came here for that reason too because like originally um, my dad moved from India to here um, because of an engineering position that he got, and then like he got in the same company again. Like once okay. he came back, so like that was also another reason why we came back. Nice, nice. So like job and family related were like mm -hmm. I guess two of the main reasons. Gotcha. Yeah. What was your what's your major at Georgia Tech, by the way? Uh, biomedical engineering. So it deals with like medical devices and research related, um, uh, like what. Uh, hospitals use them, um, like, uh, what hospitals use, like, the, um, the technology and the equipment that they use, um, like, biomedical engineers look at that, and then also the research option where they, like, you can also go into the research option where, um, you just do different types of research, like, um, any type of, like, disease that you, um, mm -hmm. you can look at if you want to, like, do that as well, so research and technology related, but yeah, biomedical engineering. Is that what you want to do, the research, or? I'm doing research right now, but I think I want to go, um, there's also a pre-med option, okay. so that's the one that I'm following, because I want to do something in medicine, so that's probably something that I want to do in the future, so okay. in medical school. Cool, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking maybe I could use that as a leeway into talking about the environment, but not really. <laughs> gotcha. So, um... Even though your major doesn't relate or anything, right. what do you feel, like, how is your relationship with the environment, or, like, how do you generally feel about it? Um, hmm, I think, like, living in the city, it's, 
like I'm not that um, close to like pollution and things like that because like where I live it's it's like it, Georgia Tech like people think that it's like in the city and things like that but it's like really secluded so I don't experience a lot of like I guess um, oh I do I guess like the one good thing about going to college is you can go outside a lot like it's not just where like in high school or middle school where you just like go in school and you're not really outside for the rest of the day mm -hmm. you're just inside but like I guess one good thing about college is you go to different buildings and things like that and like a lot of the buildings are spread out in Georgia Tech so I get to like um go out and like I guess be close to the atmosphere and things like that and like the environment so mm -hmm. I think like where I live like a lot of people think that um the city is like polluted and like things like that because of all of the buildings and things but like for me it's I think it's clean personally like especially like especially where I live it's not like like unclean and like mm -hmm. they keep it nice like grass is cut and like there's no litter and things like that so I think that's one good thing about living in Atlanta so gotcha. experience that. do you feel the same or differently about Cobb County general like where you live here I think it's more clean in Cobb County personally oh, okay um like like if you go in Atlanta, you still see some, of like, litter and, like, some pollution, but here it's definitely the air is more clean and, like, you don't see, like, any litter and, like, you always see, like, um, the environment super clean and things like that. So, like, if I'm comparing Cobb County to Atlanta, definitely Cobb County to me is more clean than, like, Atlanta. Gotcha. Yeah. What about compared to New Jersey, if you remember it? You were yeah, I, I probably do remember it. Like, again, one of the things that we didn't like is how crowded it was. Like, one thing that I like about Co Cobb County and, like, Georgia in general is, like, how spaced out everything is in New Jersey. Everything's super crowded. There's, like, it's a very small state with a lot of people in it. Like, Georgia has a huge population as well, but, like, it's a big state, right? So mm -hmm. everyone's, like, spread out and um the like especially the air and just the environment super clean like I didn't feel that way when I was in New Jersey like super crowded super humid um and, like the air wasn't that great like I can give like the example I gave with my brother like he just did not like the atmosphere did not suit him mm -hmm. it was very similar to like what you would experience in New York City or something like that um so definitely here like the benefit is it's not um that polluted and like the air is super clean and yeah that's something that I really like about living in Georgia okay yeah cool yeah. do you have solar on your home here we don't that's okay there. do you know uh why you guys don't have solar um I personally don't know because like usually my dad deals with all the solar okay. or like the energy related mm -hmm. stuff but I'm not sure I like if I was to give an opinion I would think it's more expensive than like like how we would regularly get energy but mm -hmm. i'm not sure i think it's because of um uh like the cost but i mean I okay how we like educate me on that because i'm not sure so with the decision the decision to get solar for uh -huh. your house was made for you basically like by yeah your dad. exactly yeah um if you had the option you personally would you put solar on your rooftop i think i would because it's not personally it's like helping the environment and you're not like wasting so much natural resources and things like that because I know like regular energy like the electricity that we get is coming from like um like it's being powered by coal and like natural gas and things like that which is not good for the environment mm -hmm. but like solar power is like super clean and like it's free and like you're just getting it like I know like the original like placement and stuff is probably expensive but like once you have it then like you you get that free energy mm -hmm. so I think that would be like super helpful not um, only for us, but, like, for the environment as well. So, like, if I had the option, then, yeah, I think I would. Gotcha. Yeah. Could, uh, in your opinion, could you yeah. also list some more um, pros and cons as to why you would personally want solar on your rooftop? Yeah. And uh, if you could focus on non-economic barriers for the okay. cons. Okay. Oh, dang. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say it's expensive. Yeah. Um, again, I would say pros is like it's clean like if you use natural gas and like coal and things like that it's bad for the environment like a lot of the um coal and stuff is not good uh, for like the animals and things like that in the environment um you produce a lot of waste because of that and i just don't think that's good for the environment um another pro is it's free like you get like 
we live in Georgia and we get so much sunlight and things like that. So I think like if you place it correctly on your house and you get like an abundance of that sunlight and um, I'm not trying to, it's not like, I don't want to use free because that's like the economic yeah. thing, but like um, there's so much energy being used because of like, if you do it like the natural way, like the coal and things like that, but this, you're just getting like that natural light. Um, mm-hmm. The cons, like the only thing I can think of is like, besides like the economic thing is just originally setting it up and like I'm not sure exactly like the process of how like um like like the placement and stuff uh happens but I guess just the like not the expense to us but like just making like a solar panel like I don't know how like um time consuming that is Mm -hmm. but like I just like the like original placement like I guess that would be a con because um I guess it's less time consuming to just um, get it the original way like, your electricity, but maybe like like the panels are like hard to put on the rooftop or something like that. I guess that would be a con. I'm gotcha. not, like, super sure of the like the process, but yeah. I guess that would be a con. Yeah, just like time consumption and effort wise exactly. to like put it on your something house. new. Would you think that's a con? Like just people don't want to change. Yeah, I feel that is because like. If someone asks me, like, call me, hey, you want to set up, like, a solar panel? I'll be like, yeah, I'll think about it. But, like, I don't know that much about it. Like, I'm just so used to um, the electricity that I get, like, originally um, that I'll be like, okay, I'll think about it. But I don't know that much to, like, take a leap and do that change. So I think that would be, like, a con is I don't know too much about it. Okay. Like, I wish someone would, like, educate me more on solar panels because I don't know too much about it. Gotcha. So, like, a knowledge, knowledge exactly. barrier. Exactly. Like, if there was more knowledge about it, then... I don't hear about it. Like, you hear about it a little bit in school, but, like, you don't know that much about it. You really it. don't. Yep. Yeah, that's, it's so sad. That's, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get out some maps. Okay, cool. And you'll be drawing on these maps if you could kindly label for me. Sure. Um, wherever you think people have the most solar power adaption on the rooftops. Hmm. I'm trying to see where, like, it's very hot and, like, places that I would think would have a lot of sunlight available to them. Probably not here. Um, I'm going to say these for now and then, like, I'll explain why I didn't do some of them as well. Okay. So, Sounds good. Yeah. That's exactly what I was about to ask <laughs> cool. you. So. Um, could you walk me through some of the reasoning that you went through and yeah. wanted to choose the places that you did? Sure. I'll start with California. So I think, um, California is like, like if I like hear things of like on the news, I feel like that's one of the main states that's trying to go green and like convert from like the natural gas and like the coal and like all of that type of energy to like solar and like hydro energy and things like that. So like, I guess whenever I hear anything about news, like, I think, like, California is, like, one of those states that's trying to take that leap and go, like, super green. Like, I hear a lot about, like, the cars and, like, electric cars and things like that. So I think they're, like, trying to go away from, like, all of those natural resources that are bad for the environment and trying to go for those resources that are good for the environment. So that's why I chose California. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't choose a lot of the states here because I'm not sure which ones, but I know a lot of them, like mine for um coal and natural gas and things like that so i feel like there's abundance of those resources available over there so that's why they wouldn't want to switch to like solar or oh, okay that's so, interesting the yeah. midwest area yeah, okay exactly so like i feel like that energy is super cheap there because like you don't have to transport like all of the resources it's naturally available to them so they would like i think it would be easier for them to use that instead of like going through the process of like installing like the solar panels and things like that um and I guess, like, in that way, they wouldn't want to do that. Um, Texas, I think, or, like, yeah, I guess, like, all of these, like, countries, like, or not countries, states would um, not want to use, um, like, I don't hear that much on the news, like, oh, like, we want to switch to, like, um, like solar, hydro, they're, like, more of those countries, or more of those states that are pro, like, coal and, like, natural res- or mm-hmm. natural gas and things like that, so that's why I don't think they're super go green and, like, using solar panels. Um, I feel like the one reason that I chose Georgia is because, like, there's, um, 
uh, people like you that are trying to like ask for opinions of like uh, people um, people in Cobb County and like around the area like what do you think of solar panels so they're taking that initiative to actually start like solar panels so like I it's probably already like a lot of people already have solar panels here so that's why I thought like oh like probably Georgia's like starting that and like they want to like increase the amount of solar panels that are available in Georgia and like convert to like a more green resource so that's why I chose that and then I also chose Florida because I think like when I think of like the sunshine state so like I feel there's a lot of like sunlight naturally available to them so it would be like an easy resource for them to use and install on homes so that's why I chose Florida and then I didn't choose a lot of the northern states because I feel like this is an opinion I'm not even sure yeah of course this is what we want (laughs) right we want to know what you think I feel like there's um I don't know I feel like so many of the months it's you get like less sunlight like um I know when I'm up north like I see that the day is super short and there's not a lot of sunlight readily available like here mm-hmm. like the day is super long and you get so much sunlight but I don't think that's like readily available in like a lot of the northern states so that's why I don't think that solar panel is that heavily used in a lot of the northern states so that's why I didn't choose um those states gotcha so yeah now I'm going to ask you why uh you think the people that live in the states that you chose mm-hmm. Uh, obviously that are not Georgia, I guess, are so different from the people from where we live? Um, I think, like, for example, California, I think the government pushes people to go green, like, in a lot of the other states, like, I guess Texas or, like, a lot of the Midwestern states, like, the government is not, like, super, like, they're not pushing people to change or convert to, like, a more, like, like, a better, like, resource and like one that helps the environment better they're not like promoting that but i feel like california they're probably promoting like hey you should definitely like probably there's initiatives taking place where people actually go and talk to people um like you should switch to like a more green energy resource like solar because it's helpful to the environment and like it's better for you and things like that and will help you in the long run but i don't think a lot of like the other states are promoting that Mm -hmm. so that's why like people are also not taking initiative to convert um like maybe in florida as well they may be um like the like the government may be taking an initiative to like help people convert to like a more sustainable and like reusable energy resource than like coal or something like that that's used probably more prominently in the other states do you think it's just the governments that are encouraging the people or do you think it's also the people themselves? Like, do they have a different mindsets from I think each other? So, yeah, like, I feel like there's um, a lot more, um, like, the like a younger, like, probably in a lot of these states, maybe even in, like, Florida, I guess, like, mm-hmm. there's, a, like, a larger, older population. So okay. they're not as, I wouldn't say educated, but they're not as motivated to, like, this is again my opinion like I like don't know if this is true or not but like they're not as motivated to switch to a more like reusable and cleaner energy resource and like probably because like yeah it'll affect their children and their grandchildren but like it won't really affect them as much because like you know like they're old and like I guess they wouldn't really care about that but like the newer population like the newer generation like in California um I like they know that it's affecting them and like in the long run it's um going to be hurtful to them and like the environment that they live in because um like coal and natural gas and stuff um is going to pollute the environment so it's going to affect them in the long run Mm -hmm. so I think a lot of like the younger generation like also like you learn more about it in like our age like they're actually teaching us now in schools like why um reusable energy is beneficial I don't think that that was there for like a lot of the older generations like they did not learn that in school but Mm -hmm. like we actually learned that so we have a little bit of that education as it is so I think that's why like the younger generation wants to convert to like a more sustainable and reusable energy resource and I think like definitely that age gap is one of the reasons why like we um as a generation would want to convert to like uh, solar panels and things like that so yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Do you think then that um, the younger generation is more aware or environmentally conscious in that way? I think so. I and one of the main reasons again is because we've been educated about that. Like we've learned about this like in high school, like the importance of uh, renewable energy resources and how we will be affected. I think it like hits us home. Like 
if we don't make a difference now, it's going to affect us in the future. It's going to affect our children. So, like, they're making us, like, consciously aware of our decisions now and how they'll um, impact us in the future. And I think that, um, like, the older generations have not been, like, um, educated about that. But we know, like, if we don't make a difference now, then it's going to affect us in the future. And, like, our environment is just going to um, continuously get worse and worse. So um, that's why a lot of... Um, like, our generation's trying to make an impact now so we don't have to suffer in the future. We're I'm going glad. to move on to the Georgia map. <laughs> I'm so glad. So, I mean, are you, though? This is, like, harder for most people. <laughs> so we're going to do pretty much the same task here. You'll okay. just be labeling where you think um, the people would have the most solar power rooftop adoption in the state of Georgia, just, like, label like the regions like however you want oh, yeah. they don't have to be like certain like territories you can just like make general circles around general areas however you want to do it okay so could you just tell me a little bit about why yeah. you chose the areas that you did what was your reasoning there sure so i think like again what i said with florida is there's probably a lot of natural sunlight available in like the southern states of georgia like especially even during the winter time like even now in the winter time, like up north, like where we live, um, the day is super short, so you don't get that much sunlight in a day. But I feel like a lot of the southern states, like it's not that cold all the time, and you get a lot of natural sunlight available throughout the day. So I think um, that's why there's probably a lot more solar panels available um, in the southern states. And then I chose this area again, one because. Um, companies like yours are actually taking an initiative to ask people about their opinions about solar panels so i feel like uh, they're already taking an initiative in these um in this region to um expand solar panels and make it more prominent in um a lot of the homes um, available or a lot of the homes um, make solar panels more prominent there and i guess also i'm again i'm not sure about this but i feel like there's a larger population in this area compared to like the rest of georgia and mm -hmm. again i'm not sure about that so um just proportion wise i think that there would be more solar panels available and like it would appease to a larger population here um just because there's more homes available that would um i guess readily you can um, install solar panels because um i think like a lot of this area is farmland so there's not a lot of like natural home like there's not a lot of homes available in general it's just farmland but here like there's a lot of um there's a like a larger population so more homes and like like you were able to install more solar panels in general so that's why i think um this would be an area where there's a lot more solar panels i'm not sure about like i didn't choose a lot of these areas because i feel it's a lot of mountain area. Gotcha. In the so, upper, upper north. Exactly. So I feel like in mountainous areas, like it's kind of impractical to install solar panels, be solar panels because again, there's not a lot of homes. It's just like mountain area. So like, where would you install solar panels? <laughs> On but, the yeah. mountain? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just get rid of them. <laughs> put solar Chop down the mountain and put them That's on solar easy. panels. That's <laughs> I mean, why not? Uh, but yeah, um, what makes the people from I guess just from this really south region of Georgia so mm -hmm. different like the people who live there are so different from the people who live towards um where we live and yeah. I guess I mean yeah we're from like what makes these people down south different from the people in Cobb County gotcha um this is like a really I don't know I I, I don't know if I should be making this assumption do it cajole <laughs> I feel like in the south they're not that educated about renewable um, and um, reusable resources as we are. I feel like we living in like a suburban city area, we're like more aware of um, this like new um, solar and like hydro energy and all these different types of um, renewable energy resources. Well, in the South, I don't think like a lot of people are aware or educated about that. and. I'm not saying, like, they're ignorant or anything about that. It's just they've probably not been exposed to a lot of that. Like, um, I guess, like, here we, like, see it on billboards or, like, you know, like, on the, like, advertisements and things like that um, based on, like, the region that we live in about renewable energy resources. Well, like, probably in the South, like, it's not that prominent. Like, people don't, like, probably are not aware of, like, the importance of solar energy mm -hmm. or, like, different types of energy like that. So 
I guess one thing is like the difference in education is like well I would assume that it's more like people here would have more knowledge and like use solar like solar energy more than like down south. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, why did you say why you think that people from our county and like this area do have solar? Like why they would oh, be high adopters of it? I yeah I like one of the main reasons I think is because we're educated. Like companies like yours are telling me that like. The importance of solar energy and like um i guess like your company and like just different um people in general would be making like house like homeowners aware of the importance of solar energy um and i guess with within that sense and also like we're educated in high school about like the importance of solar energy so we know like why it would be better to use solar energy as opposed to like regular energy mm -hmm. but like um here like it's you like i don't think they know that much about it so um, do you know people, since you did label, um, the area that we live in, mm -hmm. do you know people who do have solar power? I personally, I don't think I've seen anyone with, like, it would be cool if I saw, but I don't think I've seen, like, anyone use solar energy, or maybe, like, I'm just personally ignorant, and, like, I'm not, like, actively seeing someone, like, I've not asked someone, like, hey, like, what type of energy mm -hmm. are you using, and, like, I guess that's something I should look into is, like, how many people in Cloud County actually use solar energy and if that would be, like, a benefit for, like, our family in general to change. But, like, I guess personally I've just been ignorant and I've never, like, actually seen if someone's actually using solar energy. So mm -hmm. I should, that's probably something I should <laughs> look into. What about um, some people that you know, like, close friends and stuff that live within Cobb County? Do you, have you noticed uh, whether they have solar on their roofs? I have... Again, I'm, like, super ignorant. No, no, it's okay. I'm like, just clarifying. I, yeah, so, like, no. I Like, personally, I don't think I've taken an initiative to actually see if they've... Why do you think uh, the people that you do or that you do know, like, within the county, why do you mm -hmm. think that they do or do not want to adopt solar for their rooftops? I think, like, the people that already have it are probably, like, educated about the importance of solar energy, and they know that... Um, how beneficial it is um, in like helping the environment and um, how much like they're saving economically and um, just in general like they know the importance of solar energy and like how beneficial it will be for like converting from like regular energy to, to solar energy for the future so uh, again I just think they're more educated than like the people that don't use it right now like personally me like if someone asked me if I want to switch, I would think about it, but I'm just, like, super ignorant about it because I don't know that much. But I think, like, the people that currently do have it in Cloud mm -hmm. County know more about solar energy, and that's why they have solar panels available on their homes. Gotcha. Yeah. What about, like, specifically the people that you know that don't have it? Why do you think that they don't have it? Or mm -hmm. why do you think, uh, or what's, what are some non-economic barriers that you think that they would face? I think, like, one thing is, like, if someone asks someone like like oh like switch to um solar energy then like one thing I guess just the hassle and the time consumption of like installation and they would think like oh that's just a super hassle and like I don't want to bring like economic again but like right. I'm just saying like they probably it's probably not true but people may think it's expensive and like why change if you're already like okay and there's no issues with like the current energy that's available to them so I guess like People are not educated about the importance of solar energy and why it's important to switch because, you know, it's hurting the environment and it's not good for the future to continue using, like, coal and natural natural gas and things like that. Um, so I guess, like, one thing is, like, people are not educated about its importance and that's why they're not switching to um, solar panels and solar energy. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, based on your experiences living in Cobb County versus when you lived in New Jersey, did you feel like the people had different mindsets in the different places that you lived in terms of the environment or solar in general? Um, personally, like, because I was so young, I don't remember, like, if it was, like, if they considered, like, renewable energy resources as, like, with more importance in New Jersey. But I feel like, he, like, like, I guess, like, the time that I've lived here, like, like, we're more focused on solar energy here just because I feel in New Jersey, um, 
like it's not that naturally like there's not a lot of sunlight again because the day is so short but here like the day is super long so like people are trying to convert to solar energy because like naturally we have it available so why not use it so mm-hmm. i think like here solar energy is more prominent than it was like in new jersey and all the northern states gotcha yeah do you remember seeing um like have you seen solar around new jersey more than you saw it here um or if you again, don't remember that's I'm okay personally i was ignorant yeah so, like, it's okay probably not okay so you didn't like notice a major difference in terms of that i don't think so like the one thing i noticed up north is they use a lot of like i know this is like going off topic but like i know they use like wind energy like oh, okay wind just like a different so i think they just use a different type of renewable energy resource like here we don't have i don't think we have that much like natural wind available but like here we have solar energy available so i think like it's just a different type of energy that both of the regions are using it's mm-hmm. just like here we have more sunlight so like they're using more sunlight over there they have more wind available so they're using i think more wind energy gotcha so yeah yeah you are not a homeowner, correct? Yeah. So a non non homeowner. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And um, what is? Could you describe the type of structure, or in this case, I guess a house? Like describe yeah. the kind of house you live in. Is it like a single family house? Um, I think so. Like, what, could you expand on what you mean by? It's like not attached to like another family's house no, or anything no. like yeah, that. Yeah, it's just like a single okay. family home. That's like. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know. know. It's a really weird question too, because it's like I don't identify like my house with these words. Yeah, no, that makes sense.